Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Here in this video we are going to learn one important construction from NCERT textbook Mathematics Standard 10. So see this video up till end in which we will see that how to draw the tangent to the circle with the given question. This question I have taken from NCERT textbook exercise 11.2. So let us see. Exercise 11.2 question number 2. Construct a tangent to a circle of radius 4 cm from a point on the concentric circle of the radius 6 cm. What is the meaning of concentric circle that you have already learned in the previous standard? That the same center that is two circles having same center but different radii are called as the concentric circle. So first of all we have to draw two such circles which has one has 4 cm radii and another one is having 6 cm of its radii and measure its length also. We need to measure the length of that tangent. Also verify the measurement by actual calculation means that calculation also we need to show. So first of all let us begin with construct a tangent to a circle for one radius that is 4 cm radius circle we have to draw and another concentric circle means by taking a same center and radius of 6 cm we need to draw another circle. So first of all we will take it this 4 cm let us see here I will take it 4 cm first. This is 4 cm. So I will take this center and 4 cm as a radii and then I will draw the circle. It is this, it is the center. Let me say this center is said to be O and this is 4 cm radii. Another radii is given to be 6 cm. So I will take the same center O and 6 cm as the radii. So let us take it 6 cm. You can see here it is 6 cm. So the same center and 6 cm radii I have to draw the another circle. one now we have to draw the tangent construct a tangent to a circle of radii 4 cm means we have to draw the tangent to this particular circle from a point on the concentric circle of radii 6 cm this is another circle with the radii of 6 cm on which we will consider one of the point let me say this point I will give the name that is point P from this P point I have to draw the tangent to this circle with the center O and radius is equal to 4 cm. Let us begin for that. So for that first of all I will connect this two point that is O and P. O to P I have connected. Now you know how to draw the tangent for that you know we need to take measure at least more than half and then I'll keep the point on P and then I'll draw the arc this is more than half I will draw the arc in both the semiplane by keeping same radius I'll keep the point on O and again I'll draw the arc wherever these two arcs are intersecting each other I will draw a line and see this line touches the this line segment OP at this point let me say this point to be M now what to do now I will take M as a center and MO as a radius or in other word I can say M is a center and MP as a radius they will be definitely similar because M is a center point now so I will draw it let us draw it It definitely passes through this O you can see and 
this one. It is this circle. Now you can see that M as a center and MP as a radius we have taken and we have draw the circle. This circle with M as a center and MO as a radius intersecting to this original circle with center O and radius 4 cm at two distinct points. It is this one point and this is another point. So for from that we will draw one of the ray. First of all I will give the name of this two point. Let me give the name that this is A and this point I will give the name B and I will draw the ray which is initiated from this point P and passing through this B as well as point P A and this point A P and A so this would be the distance you know we need to measure the distance of the tangent then that you can see that is approximately it is 4.4 or somewhat similar way here also it would be similar it is 4.4 or even in between that as it is given verify the measurement by actual calculation that actual calculation we can show it and I will write it what is the measure that I will write it in the form of irrational number so let us see first for that see the figure that this is a tangent point if I will draw a line segment that is line segment OB then OB is a radius for this circle on which we have draw the tangent similar way this OA will also be the radius so I should take any one I am considering this this particular triangle that this one that is this OA properly let me join you know that this is perpendicular to the given tangent radius is always perpendicular to the tangent so that way if I will consider that triangle OAP let me say in triangle OAP you can see here that it is 90 degree so angle A is a 90 degree so I should write it that angle A is equal to 90 so I can apply Pythagoras theorem as per the Pythagoras theorem you know that this is a 90 degree angle so its opposite side this OP will be the what do we say it is hypotenuse so I should write it OP square and you know Pythagoras theorem square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the square of both the side forming right angle so that is OP square is equal to this is AP this is AP square plus this one that is OA square. Now those values which we have it, we will write it here. Do we have the value of OP? Yes, we have it. You know that this value OP is the radius of the exterior circle and which we have taken as to be 6 cm. So I will write it here. That is 6 whole square. AP, let us see. This AP that we have to find out or we have to verify. But we know this OA, you know, it is a radius of the inner circle that is this one and which is equal to 4 cm. So that I will take it and put it here. That is AP is not mentioned. So I will write it AP square plus what is OA? OA is given radius and that is of 4 cm. So I should write it 4 square. Therefore, I will bring this 4 square here. Then I should write it that AP square is equal to square of the 6 is equal to 36 minus 4 square 4 square is equal to what is that 4 square 16 if you see the difference that is AP square is equal to 20 16 um, 36 minus 16 you know that is equal to 20 if we will do the factorization then you know that 5 4 are 20 so 4 is having under root that is 2 so I should write it AP is equal to 2 and 5 will not have any under root so it is 2 root 5 so this AP is equal to 2 root 5 that is of as we have measured here it is 4.4 somewhat that we should say that AP is equal to this AP is equal to the same that is PB or I can say AP is equal to PB is equal to 
2 root 5 centimeter so i hope you understood that this is very simple we have drawn two tangent to the given circle from the point lying on the another concentric circle to see the other construction related to the same exercise see my next videos if you like this video click on the like button so that i should get the motivation from your likes give the comment also and share this videos with your friends so that they should also learn it and subscribe my channel for further updates in maths and science thank you so much